We have a heartbreaking update tonight to yesterday's devastating crash in Mystic. A 14-year-old has now died. Three other teenagers in that same vehicle are still in critical condition. NBC Connecticut's Amanda Pitt spoke with teachers from the school two of the teens attend. She joins us now live at the crash scene with much more. Amanda. Well, Mike, Keisha, today we're learning that two of those victims are brothers, the 14-year-old who sadly passed in this crash and his brother, a 17-year-old who's currently fighting for his life in the hospital right now. Their teachers say the brothers loved lacrosse and that love is on display here at the crash site. Got the news and the tears came. Just not... Doesn't seem fair. The St. Bernard School community mourning the tragic loss of ninth grader Carson Wilson, killed in Monday morning's crash on Fishtown Road in Mystic. When you're looking for that ray of sunshine on a cloudy day, that was Carson. The crash happened just before 1.30 a.m. when this Toyota 4Runner ended up in the woods. Police are still working to learn what led up to the crash that left the 14-year-old dead and three others, two 17-year-olds and one 18-year-old critically injured. Our investigation is continuing. Our detectives have been diligently working on this for the last 36 hours. Among the injured is Carson's brother, Skylar. His classmates are are pretty devastated. They're they're really concerned about him and his family, and uh, it's been a it's been a tough day so far. Skylar, a 12th grader at St. Bernard's, along with his brother and their sister in eighth grade, were new to the Uncasville school this year. They, they talk about uh, each other like you know his teammates talk about uh, you know Skylar and Carson like they're all brothers. Um, you know they were looking forward to uh, a good lacrosse season, and um, yeah, they're. They're quite emotional. At the crash site, a growing memorial now has lacrosse uniforms and helmets surrounded by flowers as this school community leans on their faith and each other. It's a tight knit community. Um, it's a comfort knowing that, you know, we're there for each other. Always got to have faith that there's a reason that I may not understand today, but that God has a better plan. Now, again, police have not yet determined the cause of this crash. They also have not yet revealed which teen was driving that SUV at the time of the crash, though police do say whoever was driving did have their license. Live in Mystic, Amanda Pitts, NBC, Connecticut News.